morning kindergartners today is monday which means it is week or day one of week five uh so we are starting a whole new section of our writing on friday you guys finished up your book that you were working on for two weeks you celebrated and now it's monday so we get to start a new one so what you're going to do is you're going to pull out this paper you've seen it before you know exactly what it is so you're going to pull this paper out now we're going to do a, our book kind of like we did last the last two weeks but it's going to have a little bit of a different twist normally when you're at school what we would do is we would do a whole animal study unit um, but since we're at home we're not going to be able to have you guys do the research that we normally would have done so we're going to think of animals that we already know a lot about okay so I want you to think of five animals that you already know a lot about. If there's something that you wanna to research to learn more, talk to your parent about that and see if they're comfortable working with you on researching some animals and learning cool stuff about them. Um, but if they don't have the time, which is totally fine, think about an animal that you know a lot about. For example, the first animal that I'm going to write down that I know a lot about it is my dogs, right? I know a lot about dogs because I have them. And so the first animal that I'm going to write down in this first bubble is dogs. Remember, you're going to stretch it out. D -og you're going to stretch it out and you're going to write it. Now you can choose to write just your word. You can choose to draw just a picture or you could do both. Write a word and draw a picture to let yourself remember what you're writing about. So the reason I wrote dogs is because I already know a lot about them because I own dogs, right? I couldn't say a cheetah, for example, because one, I really don't know that much about cheetahs. All I know is that they're really fast um, and I don't own them. So it's not easy for me to think about or talk with my family about. Now, if I wanted to do the research, I could learn about them, but that's only if um, you can only do the research if your parents are okay with sitting with you. Parents, if you are okay with doing research with them, uh, Nat Geo is a really great resource. Um, Nat Geo Kids or Discovery Kids is another really great resource for kids to do to look up and watch videos, um, discovery education on certain animals. And so if you're wanting to do research on animals to learn more about a new animal, that's a great opportunity. Another one I'm going to write a lot about. Remember, this is my idea bubble for what, what my book is going to be about. Another one is going to be orcas. Orcas. So the reason I know a lot about orcas is because they're actually my favorite animal. So I already know a lot of information about orcas. I don't need to do any research and I don't need anybody to teach me anything about orcas because I already know. Now, there might be some animals that we think we know a lot about, but we really don't know that much about. That wouldn't be a good animal to write down on this page, okay? Make sure the animals you're writing down are ones that you know a lot about. So, so far I have orcas and dogs. My next one I know a lot about because they live around here, and I just think they're such fascinating creature. Cre <laughs> don't know what I was saying there. Fascinating creatures are um, bears. I think black bears are really fascinating and super cool. So I'm going to write black, black bears. Now remember, I chose something that I already know a lot about, not one that I have to do a lot of research on unless I have permission to do that research with my family. I'm not choosing things that I think I know a lot about. There are things that I actually know a lot about. Okay, so I wouldn't choose something random like maybe a giraffe because I might not know a lot about a giraffe. I think they're cool and they have a really long neck. But other than that, I don't know what their favorite food is. I don't know, you know, if they migrate. I don't know anything like that. And so those are things to keep in mind. You might think you know a lot about an animal, but you might not actually know a lot about the animal. All right. Another one that I know a lot about given my childhood is horses. I grew up riding. Um, I grew up with them a lot, and so horses are something that I know a lot about. Uh, and so I am I already wrote that one out. So now I have dogs, orcas, black bears, horses. Just because I wrote those things, does that mean you guys know a lot about those animals? Maybe not. 
You guys might only know a lot about dogs and horses, or you might only know a lot about black bears, or you might know nothing about any of them. Make sure what you're writing are things that you actually know a lot about, okay? Now, the last one um, I am going to write is manatees. Now, this is kind of a unique one. The reason I know so much about manatees is because in years past, when we do this, uh, this project, and we all choose an animal, I've chosen manatees to learn about them before. And I think they're fantastic creatures. I think they're really awesome. And unfortunately, we are not protecting them the way that we should be. And so I always enjoy learning more about manatees. And now I feel like I know a lot about them. And so that's one that I wrote down on my list. So now I have five ideas, five animals that I know a lot about. I am not writing about, um, I know a lot about doing laundry. I know a lot about being a kindergartner. I know we're not doing that anymore. This time is purely knowing a lot about animals. Okay. So think about animals. They could be any lizards, snakes, spiders, mosquitoes, anything that you know a lot about. And you can choose to put those on your idea chart. Tomorrow we'll be choosing which one of those you think you want to write with. So for today, once you finish your idea chart, you're done. You're good to go. That's all we had for writing today. So get thinking about your animals. And remember, we're not just writing random things. We're thinking about animals we know a lot about. Have a good day, guys.